between the pair of them, a long, lingering rook. And here we go, getting the action underway tonight. This one's scheduled for eight. First time up to that distance for Harlem Eubank tonight. And up against a talented amateur southpaw in the shape of McDonough. How much has he learned from the Ekbenike defeat just over a year ago? Well, I think it's just a little bit. Oh, he boxes well. He's, you know, he's hard to pin down. Just, and he hasn't got to be a big puncher, but just a little bit more turn from the core. Sometimes when he throws his shots, just get a little bit more weight. Because being a good mover is a good thing, but in, in the longer distances, they will walk you down, professionals. So you just need a little bit more, just enough weight just to stop him from walking through you. That's all he needs. That's all. But you know, he's an improving fighter, is McDonough. As is Eubank, of course. You can see Eubank there just see him waving that front hand there, that left hand, just trying to just offset the jab there of, of McDonough. McDonough landed one of those from the southpaw stance just a moment or so ago, missed with a second one. Just trying to feel each other out. No one wanting to commit too much. And both landing there, the, the right lead, and then it was a terrific body shot in return from Eubank. Relax them shoulders, relax them shoulders. Don't rush it, don't rush it. Stay relaxed, stay calm. I think the, the majority of boxers seem to have come out of the lockdown period very fit and motivated. They've used that extra time they've had to get themselves into great nick, and you saw a really sharp left hand and a follow-up from McDonough. Yeah, two good left hands from McDonough, and he did the right thing on the second one, just took a little step back, so nothing came back his way. See that waving of the left hand there, it's just not allowing McDonald just to, to get his softball jab off, so he's having to look and wait for Eubank to commit himself before he fires that left hand on the, on the centre of the guard. Just got to keep that head moving there, Eubank, when he, when he slides forward. The right hand on the left took there from Eubank, and again. Yeah, he came back with the right two, both. Itchy trigger fingers there and the counteraction close. It's been a good minute or so for Eubank settling into this. Nice little left hand. And again, another shot there from McDonough. Just beating Eubank to the punch. It's been a good start to the round for McDonough. Then a, a good sort of second third of it from Eubank and then back McDonough just towards the end. So an interesting open of this. Into round two then, scheduled for eight. Intriguing start to proceedings here tonight. Eagerness, maybe over eagerness there from Eubank to close the gap. Well, I think I think McDonald's stayed nice and calm, to be honest, and I think he, he could see what was coming. I don't think you know, he held on at the right times. He didn't really catch anything. It was, it was an aggressive move from Eubank, but I don't think he really had much success with it. Eubank, the one who wanted to work when they were tied up in close. And there you can see the, maybe the game plan for McDonough and his team to make Eubank miss and then punish him perhaps while he's rushing in. That's a good shot there from McDonough, lovely short left hand. A lot of upper body movement from Eubank. McDonough able to tie him up when they're close. Good shot, 
He's throwing pops. I understand it's hard for him to get closer. You remember he's throwing pops too far out. That right hand was the right idea, but he was just a, just a, a step and a half outside the of distance there. You just slide in with that front foot to so get a little bit lower. You can nick the space when you get a little bit lower. Then a wider stance, you can bring that front foot a bit closer, and then let that right hand go. Yeah, just slightly over eager in this round. I think you back there. I thought that the thoughtful approach in the in the first round had borne him some success. And straight right again, the jab working for McDonald. I think more importantly, he's got his his distance and his footwork yeah. going for him in this round. He's keeping his shape very well, isn't he? Even though Eubank's trying to, when they get close, trying to be a little bit physical. So I think McDonald's keeping his shape really well and just staying nice and constant, nice and switched on. The concentration's good. That's a lovely right hook there with a missed left up. but a lovely right hook. From McDonough. Oh, a couple of free shots there from McDonough out of the clinch. Now, Eubank trying to load up, trying to rough up McDonough. Into round three then. First was pretty tight, tough to score. I'd say that the second looked to have been McDonough's. Shots there from, from Eubank, sorry. Alex a lovely, lovely right hand. And what was the key there, Barry? Because it seemed like he ducked down to his left, got inside and then let that right hand go. Yeah, he stayed low, but he stayed low when he threw the shot. I think that, that might be the difference there. He didn't sort of come up with it. Maybe one of the, the cleanest shots we've seen in the first couple of rounds so far, that right hand from Eubank. It's even there, he missed with that right hand, but at least he, he, he touched the target with the left hand with the jab, so he knew he was there to throw the right hand and let it go. There is only a year between them in age, Barry. It doesn't, doesn't always look like that no. in the ring. Sort of boyishness of about McDonough. That's a nice little, nice little left hand there by McDonough. He had to take one there, Eubank to land one, but he was willing to do so. Will it bear any fruit for him? Yeah, I thought the short right hand was probably the better shot there by, by Eubank in that little exchange. McDonough just got a moment to either come out on, exit on the left side there. Or pivot off the right when he's uh, when his back's to the ropes. Well, he's been a natural athlete and, and sportsman at Eubank, of course, from a, a fighting family very much. His dad was a, a pro back in the 80s, unlucky to bump into the likes of Kevin Lushing, Andy Holligan in his time, and, of, of course, his uncle, Chris. Uh, Eubank himself needing no introduction. There was a lovely left uppercut there to start off this little uh, little hustle here from McDonough. Just caught Eubank coming forward. Good right hand though there from, from Eubank. He's letting his hands go. It's not, not always pretty and they're not always landing, but you cannot fault the effort and the application here from Eubank. Half blocked that shot, but it was a good little move there from McDonough, and then held his feet there and that take one back there from, from Eubank. He's almost just waiting to time Eubank for that rush, but he was clipped by a couple of right hands there from Eubank. There's about three of those or so have got through in this round. Nice. Well, a wild miss with the right, and there's another one, but he did land with the left hand in between those swipes. Here we are approaching halfway then. Donna versus uh, Eubank. Tough one to score this, I think, so far. Oh, both getting through. A bit, a bit of tit for tat through this first minute. It's nice there from McDonough. Lovely there. A little left hand, a little spin round there to his right.
He's so keen to get in range to let that right hand go, isn't he, Eubank? It, I think it's as Paddy says, you, you've always got to earn your stripes, haven't you, to get there. It's just hard if he can land with the jabs. So it's hard to judge his distance where he, where he lets his hands go. But again, I just, he sort of did in the first one, got really low. And then that allows you to get that front, that front for closer. Then you can let that big bomb go of a right hand. But it's McDonough, the, the, the little judgery movements McDonough makes just makes it hard for maybe to set yourself. <laughs> but I think he's boxing quite well here, McDonough. He's under a bit of pressure, but he's staying nice and composed. Even here, oh, good left hand there from Eubank. Yeah, I think some of the, the sort of big eye-catching shots have definitely come from Eubank, and maybe a bit more power on them as well. But McDonough's kept his boxing, he's counter-punched. So be careful there, McDonald. Don't stand too tall. You might whip the shot over the top. That's it, good. That's it, lovely. Lovely, That's it, keep it from him, keep it from him. That's it, take your feet. Good. Oh, good shot. What a shot. Big left hand. Is that a fight turning shot? McDonough has 40 or so seconds. Huge turnaround this for Eubank. You gotta jump at him, not Eubank, but you gotta maintain that distance. You don't get too close to McDonough to hold and that left hook rock McDonough to the soles of his booties. He's all over the place. Oh, there's another left hand. There was a right before it as well. The, the, the big shot's getting through. There's oh, he's another done. one. He's under real pressure here. McDonough, the legs are wobbling, and he's managed to hang on successfully through the fight so far when he's needed to. He got a jab to the body here. Eubank and the left hand over the top. Oh, and he gets him again, Eubank. Huge shots for Eubank. Just the two stoppages so far in nine, but he's getting through in another terrific left hand. This time to the body gets in for Eubank. But we'll get a word from him again as this one develops, how it develops, where it develops, in what particular order remains to be seen. That was a huge turnaround, Barry. It was, yeah. I, I give it 10-9. You could, no, theoretically, you give that 10-8. He was, was quite dominant at the end, but I still thought that it was just a 10-9 for me. So I, I still got McDonough just slightly ahead, but I think as Spencer was saying, you know, well, the scorecards be needed because I think there's a, there's a certain change of wind, isn't there, all of a sudden? You wouldn't say it came out of the blue, but I suppose what you would say is those those kind of rugged attacks hadn't been successful up until that point. I thought, yeah, I understand that, but I thought it did come out of the blue. I think not that he caught him, the fact that he really shook him because it was a beautiful shot, and McDonald sort of just you know, froze for a little while, and even though when, when that happens, that they they shook up and seriously hurt. I went for McDonough, Barry, and I think it's maybe a testament to, to how shaken he was because he took another three or four heavy shots in, in the process. But he'd been, first couple of rounds, he'd been holding up close really successfully. Interestingly, when he was hurt there, he pushed Eubank off him as if he wasn't quite thinking properly. Just blinking here, McDonough. And that's something maybe the referee needs to keep an eye on. I'm not sure if that's uh, a little tick he has or I haven't noticed it before. Or whether yeah, it's a problem with the eye or something, but I think I I caught him doing that early, Barry. It might just be a little tick. And as boxers, we have plenty of them. Don't worry about that. There's nothing well, to go about the Barry Jones shuffle. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Barry, McDonough has done, done well to kind of get a foothold through this first minute and a half of the fifth. A little bit slower with that left handle there, McDonough, and Eubank throwing that right hand over the top. Looking not to get warned there, going over the head there, Eubank. Oh, another huge left hand lands from Eubank. And you can see that he's, the, the, the punch is back from McDonough, much, much slower. He's really having to force this. It's getting harder for him, and there's still a minute to go in this fifth. Eubank is getting through. 
Look how slow those shots are from McDonough. He's trying so hard. That's just when you get hurt, your, your energy drains, but also your, your confidence and of, of committing yourself to punches when you've been when you've been stung a little bit. So that that's what's happened here. You just need a little bit of, bit of a confidence boost here, not McDonough, with a bit of success. I think. I mean, I think he's done so well through the first minute. But look at those punches. He looks like he's punching through deep water, McDonough, and he is in deep water right now towards the end of this fifth. But look at the rhythm to the work now of Eubank all of a sudden. And the confidence. When he's brimming. jumping in out of distance, now he's all nice and smooth. The shoulders are loose now. He's rolling those shoulders coming forward. And he's also happy to bide his time, Barry. I think he perhaps he feels it's only a matter of time. Yeah, but you've got to be careful that because he's not a massive puncher. So I think you know I think he needs if he, he looks like he got plenty in the tank. He needs to put it on McDonald's. It's a good right hand again there from Eubank. Let your punches go with, with full flow. Well, it's not just the fact that the last two rounds, the fourth and fifth, have gone to Eubank, uh, and significantly so. It's the momentum and it's the heavy shots that have been landed through those rounds, and successively too. Momentum, everything in boxing, and there's no doubt that uh, the snowball seemingly starting to run downhill towards Martin McDonough. He just takes a little bit of a wider step to the left there, you bank with that left foot. Then he jabs, then, then feints the jab to the body and throw that right hand over the top. And I mentioned at the end of that fifth round, oh, shot. I'll tell you what, that was a beautiful move that from you bank. He kind of dipped down and then huge swiping left hand. And there's a dig into the body. It's early on in round six when he's starting to make an impression again. Again, though, if he takes that left foot on the outside, it, it'll stop McDonald from McDonald. When he gets hurt, he always goes to the right. So you take that foot to the left, that it stops that escape route straight away, and then he can go to work. I was just about to say at the end of that fifth that the kind of composure, a more relaxed approach, the confidence uh, brimming into Eubanks worth. Whether maybe he was just feeling the pace of the effort he's put in, but the way he's gone about it in the sixth suggests it's just the way he's fighting now. He's found the distance with that left hook. The good thing is, is except for he dips his legs with that left hook, there's no real tell to it. It's nice, smooth. It's not nice, smooth rhythm to it. So it's not, not a little, little dip down with the left hand first. He just dips the knees and then he fires him with the left hook. Had the read and he's used it very well in the last three rounds. Yes, it's, it's all become an awful lot smoother, hasn't it? Not as, as forced. <laughs> It shows you what a little bit of success can do for a, a fighter. Yeah. Good right hand there as well from, from Eubank. Or in the case of Eubank, through the last three rounds, a lot of success. Building block upon block. And all the while, like a, the energy bars in a computer game, the stock's just depleting for McDonough. Having to dip into the reserves now in the last third of the fight. But on the scorecards, he's still in the fight. I know that the, the winds have totally changed in Eubank's favour in the last few rounds, but you know, scorecards are still close fight for me. It's a good left hand there from Madonna. Yeah, I, I think you can have a good argument about the first and the, the third rounds. I think second was clearly McDonough's. You could have given him the first three. I gave it the, the third a 10 10. I, I thought they, they kind of shared the, the, the pattern of the fight. One had better early on than the other towards the end. So. And my, on my card, I, I've got Eubank just in front, but you could debate the, the first three rounds for sure. Just inches away with that spectacular performance against Alfredo Melli. A dignum, a real middleweight to watch out for uh, coming out of uh, lockdown when he gets his uh, chance. Harlem Eubank uh, barely hasn't been out since last July. Will the, the year off hurt him down the stretch? We'll see. He's looked, he's looked just as fresh in the last round as he did in the first, to be honest. Not, especially now he's, now, he's found his, now he's found his range, he's full of confidence, isn't he? And when he's dictating the pace, it's sometimes easier to, to produce the better work. Oh, McDonald, he's now was a little bit of success, and now all that confidence that he had in the first few rounds will, will, will theoretically come throw, flowing back. But it's still, again, it's still a close fight on the, on the cards, even yep. though Eubanks, it's all been Eubank in the last like, three rounds. And we saw last week, didn't we? Oh, what a jab that is. We saw last week, uh, Darren Tetley, you know, that the South Pole yep. boxer, his technique, that really did stand the test in the, the face of the, the tough, rugged assault from Liam Taylor. 
And, and, and Tetley was still in there firing and boxing all the way to the final bell. Oh, well, shot. it was a good response, Barry, wasn't it, from McDonough? And then suddenly the equaliser, the strength and the power through that uppercut from Eubank. That's the, the punch you remember, and that was the punch that had the effect. Well, it's, it's, it's the quality of the shots, and or certainly the weight of the shots that, that, that are the difference here right now against McDonough and, and Eubank. Good left hook again there from Eubank. And just a little wobble, I mean, perhaps more off balance, Eubank, yeah, no. than anything else. She's a little bit more popping that left hand there now, McDonald. Well, sure. there it is. Set up by the jab, straight down the pipe. Bit of confidence maybe creeping back into the work of McDonald. Oh, good right hand there from Eubank. Lovely shot. Took it well, though, McDonough. He's taken them all well, hasn't he? Real testament to his fitness and, and his toughness. Well, I don't think... I, I, oh, I'm proud off of that uppercut there, you rank. I think he showed a good chin, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. McDonough. Mm -hmm. I, just think, I, I just think his confidence has been hit a little bit. And, and, and it's shown in some of his work. And, and uh, Again there, look at that holding his feet. And I took that right, he wouldn't have took that right hand four rounds ago. No, he wouldn't. He would have been out, out, out of range. I, I, I think he's just... He's just it's the sheer weight of the shots that's really forced him into this kind of fight, and he just doesn't quite have the energy to, to do anything about it. See, it doesn't look like he's unraveled because he, no, he's still keeping his hands up and his elbows tucked in tight. But I think mentally, he's just unraveled a little bit. Well, it's interesting whether it's meant. I mean, I think it's physical, but I completely take the point with him. You can really see the effect that some of those heavy shots have had on him. Into the final round, then. Didn't necessarily looked like it go this far four rounds ago with that a dramatic fourth when no doubt the fight was turned by a couple of solid left hands from Harlem at Eubank. He's already gone into uncharted territory, seventh and eighth rounds for the first time in his career and having been off the track as it were for more than a year, he has certainly ticked that box in some kind of style so far. Yeah, and it hasn't always been oh, that's a good shot there from Eubank. It hasn't always been pretty from him, but I think when you're boxing someone like McDonough, a, you know, a softball, you know, boxing's well on the move, then I think you have to be a little bit crude with some of your work to get, to get success. You have to get inside the reach and sort of rough him up a little bit, well, be more physical. Uh, yeah, and he was, and there was just the danger early on that he could have been frustrated, Barry, by the good boxing of, of McDonough, which was working so well for him through the first three rounds, I think it's fair to say. A bit more sort of polish, guile and composure, I think, is the right word to apply to what Eubank has done since then. But he's grown in confidence where McDonald has, has, has waned in his. I think that's that's what it's looked to me, to be honest, and that's been the difference. Because McDonald doesn't seem to be that hurt. He's taken some good shots, he's taken them well, but just the punch output hasn't been as, as, as frequent as it was earlier on, and certainly the, the snap in the shots has reduced dramatically. And a measure of that, Barry, we just saw again. There, another strong left jab for Eubank, which he was unable to land at all through the first half of the fight. And considering Eubank's front foot is usually in the wrong position to land that jab in the first place, so shouldn't be getting much success. But he has found his rhythm, he's found his range, and you can see the all loose and, and, and the flow in his shots. And the left hand for Eubank, the, the, the fight turn of the story of it? Yeah, the left hook, certainly. You know, he's landed some good right hands, but the left hook was... The, no, that first left hook he landed with, that really did the damage, was... It's all been done from, 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 from McDonough from there, really, but that's been the punch of the night. Great credit to McDonough. He really has had to, to tough this out down the stretch. Things were getting particularly difficult, tough. Really deep water he was swimming in from round four onwards. And he's copped a few heavy shots down the stretch too. There's another one. Huge left hand. He's in a bit of bother with 30 odd seconds to go. McDonough hits the canvas for the first time in the fight. And he's struggling to get to his feet in time. He's running out of time. And he has been stopped right at the very finish. How would he cope with the energy at the end? But he, was, he looked as strong as ever and as fast as ever. And again, that left hook caused all the damage, the first left hook. 
McDonnell then just a little bit shook up from that. Looked to hold on, but not strong enough with that with that grip. And the left hook and the right hand to follow it over. And then McDonnell really there was on the floor, probably thinking, listen, I might just I might just sit this one out. I think he, he, how much he knew after those two big left hands. And it was the succession of big punches. The contest came to an end after two minutes and 36 seconds of round number eight. Martin McDonough failing to beat the referee's count. Therefore, your winner by count out from Brighton, Harlem Eubank. Well, Barry Jones, we've seen a bit of Harlem Eubank.